Good to see you, Mike. Well, Tucker, thank you so much for having me back on the program. I know that last time there was a little bit of controversy about my uh, my appearance, but you know it's good to be back. So this time, Tucker, I want to show you how to defeat the Chained Ogre. So in my first stream of Sekiro, the Chained Ogre cleaned my clock. Oh no! It's in him. Oh no! 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 I think facing him for a second time. I could do pretty well. So Tucker, what we want to do here is we want to drop down on him, get that first death blow, and then effectively you eliminate 50% of his health. If you don't do that, then you have to do twice as much damage to him. And you're just making your own life more difficult for absolutely no reason. So you want to get that death blow. And it's not always perfect. Like sometimes I'll try to jump on them and I'll try to land that death blow. Doesn't work. I fuck it up. And there we have it, 50% of his health eliminated. Now, let's see how well I do. Oh, and he still has that grab down. Ooh, that hurt <laughs> like a motherfucker. Oh, and now he's throwing me. Okay, so, you know, he still, he still packs a little bit of a punch. Still packs a little bit of a punch. Ooh, god damn. I need to heal, so... Okay, you're gonna have to stop following me, bud, real quick. Okay, thank you. Okay. And he just kicked me right in the head, Tucker. Notice that I wasn't necessarily prepared. And now, Tucker, he grabbed me and he's hitting me on the head. And he just killed me. But I could come right back to life. Ooh, nope. nope. Oh, and he just actually... See, Tucker, I'm going to explain to you what I did wrong here. I was a little bit too cocky. When I played this the first time, it was like my first experience with the mini boss, or my second experience with the mini boss, to be fair. This time, I came in swinging my dick around as if I was, you know, uh, immune to any of his attacks. But that's not the way to approach these enemies. If you get a little bit too cocky in Sekiro or any of the Souls games, they're going to remind you that you're playing on their turf. So now I'm going to try to use this as a little bit of a shield and, oh, nope. So I'm going to try to approach him from behind. So this is just a basic game of cat and mouse now. Nope, nope. Let me come, hang on. Let me come behind you, Chained Ogre. Chained Ogre, stop. Chained Ogre, stop. Stop it, Chained Ogre. No, stop it. Stop it, goddammit! <laughs> oh, notice how he tried to kick me in the face, Tucker? Nope, not gonna happen today, brother. Nope! Nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen. See, when he tries to grab you, he's actually giving you a hug. See, the key, Tucker, is not getting too greedy with your attacks. Um, and I kind of did that right there. So you need to be satisfied just taking one or two slices. And then you get out of there because if you stay there and you just keep wailing on him and wailing on him eventually he's gonna land an attack he's gonna grab you so you have to know when to leave and that's that's part of the uh the trickiness here is trying to determine when it's okay to stop attacking and usually i try to make a little bit of a rule for myself attack him once or twice and then get the fuck out of there before he attacks you because he's gonna land a blow and yes it will hurt this is an ogre we're talking about here he's like 10 feet tall Oh, and there he grabbed me, Tucker. As you can see, he's hitting me in the head right now. And now he is throwing me. So I am going to run. Nope, not going to happen today. Nope. Nope, done. Watch, Tucker. I'm going to kill him. Watch this, Tucker. And that's how it's done, Tucker. <laughs> So I'm not sure if you all are aware of this individual, but his name is Kyle Kalinske. And Kyle here, he's gotten himself in a bit of a predicament. So as you can see, this very clearly is a man in distress. This very clearly is a man who is in trouble. 
So I was sent this video of him. And here's what I wrote on Twitter. I was sent this video of my friend Kyle Kalinske possibly being held hostage at an undisclosed location. In this video, Kyle nervously reads off the demands of the kidnappers, which include four bags of flaming hot Cheetos. That's a lot. I can't even eat a single bag. A classic Bernie 2016 t-shirt, large, and a gallon of seltzer water. Now, I don't know who's making these demands. I don't know what's going on, where he's being kept. But I do know, given this video, the look on his face, he's in trouble. And as his comrade, I want to save him. But I don't know what to do. I haven't heard from him. And so I'm really hoping that he can he can clarify that this is all just a joke. Hashtag save Kyle. Save Kyle. We have to figure out where Kyle is. We have to find him. This video in particular, he really looks distressed, does he not? If you look at his his eyes, if he's blinking, see if we can figure out any subliminal messages through that. Uh, perhaps he's speaking in Morse code. He's trying to send us a message using Morse code. I don't know. This is what mainstream media does whenever there's a platform that they view as competition. Okay, notice the blinks. That was two fast blinks, one blink, and then two fast blinks again. Blink, blink, pause, blink, blink. Can we look up Morse code? Let me just send him a quick message. I mean, this, this might be a little bit too obvious. So how does that sound? Kyle, are you okay? Where are you, bud? We're coming to find you ASAP. Is this a little bit too overt? Do you think this is like, is this too direct? Should I be a little bit more subtle? It's like, on one hand, I want to know that he's okay, but I don't want the kidnappers to know that I'm onto them. This is what mainstream media does whenever there's a platform okay. that they we just got three blinks. So what was the code again? SOS and Morse, three long blinks, three short blinks, three long blinks. So it's gonna look something like this. Three short blinks and three long blinks. Three long, oh, okay. Three short, three long, three short. Okay, okay, let's try this again. So it's gonna be blink, 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 blink. So that's what we're looking for. They're making thousands of dollars. It's a financial lifeline for extremists. Guys, they must what do is he something. trying to they say? They must crack down. Okay, so, so that right there, that's genuine distress. That's genuine distress. So he's pretending to report on a story, but what he's really trying to do is communicate to us in this really subtle, almost covert way to let us know the real message. And I think that the real message is, help me, come and find me. I'm trapped. I'm in a warehouse, let me out. And I don't know what to do. They see the eyeballs on these big outlets. So he's saying eyeballs. He is telling us we have to look at his eyeballs because he is trying to give us a message in Morse code. He's saying help. That's what I think too. But does he know his location? We know he's in some warehouse somewhere. We know he's being held hostage against his will. So the question is, where do we find Kyle? How do we get to Kyle? That's what I just, I don't know what to do because he's trying to tell me something and I'm not picking up on the message takes away from them two blinks and so anytime blink, blink. you have a free and open platform is that, that it gets three blinks enough and gets big enough he just did sos he just did sos and morse code did he not he's saying a lot of words he's saying twitch he's saying youtube mainstream media so we have m t y m t y that's three letters what's the message empty empty so perhaps the message is that he is in an empty warehouse somewhere. I don't know if Kyle has even been on Twitter at all today. Let's take a look really quick. Kyle Kalinske translator, could this be useful? Okay, that's not gonna help us. Okay, so the last time that he tweeted was April 9th, is that true? Any tweets and replies? Wait, he's been off Twitter that long? This is not a good sign. Within the next few days, I might have to not do this anymore. Like, <gasps> I, might to... I might have to not do this anymore? I get that he was trying to be subtle because he couldn't let us know 
where he was. He wouldn't want the kidnappers to think that he was giving off a message. So, you know, he's trying to make it seem as if everything is copacetic, but there is this tacit message that he's very clearly trying to send, but he can't be too conspicuous, otherwise the kidnappers are very obviously going to shut him down. So this is his one chance to say, hey, I need help, please save me, and we're failing him. We need L from Death Note. Yes, we do. Definitely. Or, going by that logic, assuming that I'm Light Yagami, I could be the kidnapper. Is it David Dole? David wouldn't do something like this. He's Canadian. They would never hurt anyone. Well, you know, by me uh, speculating that I could be the kidnapper, that's not necessarily an admission of guilt. It's just... You know, if I'm trying to be thorough and uh, transparent for the audience, I want you to know that, of course, I, I think that it's it's appropriate for you to consider me a suspect as well. It could very well be the case that uh, Kyle is in my basement. Oh, can we track Kyle with the COVID vaccine shot? That's possible. That's possible. Mike acting sus. I mean, look, I, I can assure you, if I did kidnap Kyle, if I'm the kidnapper... I have no memory of it whatsoever. I have no memory of it. I swear to God, I have no memory of it. What if Kyle kidnapped Kyle? That's also entirely possible. Wait, that is a great idea actually, because think about this. If you look at all of the demands, there are things that Kyle would want. Flaming Hot Cheetos, a Bernie t-shirt, size large. I'm assuming Kyle's a size large and a gallon of seltzer water. But I mean, if you're gonna go through all of this effort to pull out this elaborate scheme to make it seem as if you were kidnapped and your whole goal out of this is to get big seltzer wouldn't you ask for more than a gallon that's why i, I kind of want to rule out kyle you know i don't want to say that this is a false flag because if i'm going to do something like this i mean if i'm going to be able to pull this off i want more than a gallon of seltzer water we're, we're talking fucking barrels we're going to get to the bottom of this um but for now we'll have to put this on pause because I just, I don't know. Recovery mode, my brain ideas. Re recovery mode, my brain ideas. 